Hello and welcome to week four of Awaken Your Joy. This week we're going to be talking about your physical body. So first things first, how does your body feel like for you? Are there any aches and pains? Do you have a headache? Do you carry tension in your jaw? How is your digestion? Do you feel like you're bloated? What does your body feel like? And really consider what your body might be trying to tell you. Because these sensations don't come up for no reason. Your body's always trying to communicate with you and then we tend to ignore it. The other part of it is, how do you feel about your body? When you look into the mirror, what comes up? Do you look and you're like, oh my goodness, I look good. Or do you look in the mirror and be like, oh, mm, I wish this was different. Mm, I wish that could be a little smaller, that could be a little bit bigger and if I could just and da 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 da. Is that what you do? And no judgment, we've all done that. But for today's tapping sequence, I want to really make peace with that and just land in your body as it is and feel like you're on the same team. So first things first, let's take a nice big breath in. You can either soften your gaze or close your eyes and let it go. Begin to relax through the face and the jaw. Begin to relax through the shoulders, letting the belly get soft and land here. Allow yourself to be here as you are. And as you're checking in with your physical body, I'll invite you to choose a number on a scale of zero to 10 and how you feel about your body. Zero is happy, neutral, all is good. 10 is holy moly, not a happy camper. My body hates me, not a fan of my body. We're definitely at war. And whatever the number is, there's no judgment. So just choose a number and let's begin. So in case your eyes are open, open your eyes and begin to tap on the side of the hand. Even though I don't fully love my body, I accept how I feel. Even though I wish my body was different, I accept how I feel. Even though I feel like I struggle with my body, I accept how I feel. Tapping at the eyebrow point. There's so many things I wish were different about my body. It's out of the eye. I wish some parts were smaller underneath the eye. I wish other parts were bigger. underneath the nose and I just feel like it's so frustrating when I look in the mirror underneath the lip and it gets me really upset collarbone I try to do the right things it's out of body but then it doesn't feel like I see the results Of the head and that is super frustrating for me big breath in let it go eyebrow I just wish my body would feel better it's out of the eye it doesn't feel strong enough underneath the eye it doesn't feel lean enough underneath the nose it just doesn't feel like enough underneath the lip I know if I could change a couple things I'd be happier collarbone maybe losing a little bit of weight side of the body but getting a little bit stronger top of the head but I'm not sure that's possible. Big breath in. Let it go. Eyebrow. I feel like my body and I are not friends. Side of the eye. I try so hard underneath the eye, but I feel like my body continues to fail me. Underneath the nose. Why can't it just do the thing? Underneath the lip. 
feels so much easier for other people. Collarbone. And it's so frustrating. Side of the body. It makes me disappointed. Top of the head. And I just feel so much shame around my body. Breath in. Let it go. Eyebrow. I feel like I try so hard. Side of the eye. But I don't see the actual result. Underneath the eye. So then why even bother? Underneath the nose. I definitely catch myself comparing to others. Underneath the lip, it makes it even worse. Collarbone. Maybe I can shame myself to look the way I want. Side of the body. Maybe shame will help me get to where I want to go. Top of the head. I just feel really defeated. Big breath in. Let it go. Eyebrow. There has to be another way. Side of the eye. And I'm open to seeing it another way. Underneath the eye. I'm just done with the struggle. underneath the nose and I'm ready to start a new chapter underneath the lip a chapter where I respect my body collarbone and treat it with more kindness side of the body I'm open to trying this new way of thinking top of the head. Maybe a little more kindness and compassion is what I was looking for. Big breath in. Let it go. Eyebrow. I acknowledge how harsh and critical I am to myself. Side of the eye. And I acknowledge that you shouldn't speak to anyone like that. Underneath the eye. I acknowledge that my body is human and it needs a break. Underneath the nose. And I'm open to being more into self care and kindness. Underneath the lip. I realize that shaming myself to be a different way doesn't work. Collarbone. And maybe all those aches and pains and inflammation is trying to tell me something. Side of the body. And I'm open to listening. Top of the head. I'm open to working with my body. Big breath in. Let it go. Tapping on your heart. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. I'm open to being kinder to my physical body. I'm open to taking more rest and time for self-care. I'm open to listen when my body speaks. I'm open to the possibility of knowing I'm enough and I'm perfect as I am. Big breath in. Let it go. <sighs> That's Tegressa. She agrees. <laughs> Keep your hand on your heart and I want you to send that love to your physical body. This thing carries you around the world. This thing holds your soul. It holds your energy, your being, your essence. And no one's perfect. 
And like, imagine how much more peace you could have felt if you didn't nitpick yourself maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, one year ago. What are you gonna think when you're 80? You're not gonna care about those little tiny things here and there because it doesn't matter. So make peace with your body, be kind to your body. You're not gonna shame yourself to look a certain way and try not to compare yourself to other people because you don't know what kind of filter they've used, what kind of editing they've used. And the people who love you and care about you, they don't see that. They see you, they see your beautiful light and they just want you happy. So create more of that in your life, a little more love, compassion, kindness, and I guarantee you, you'll shift how you look at yourself and things will feel better. Thank you so much for tapping with me. I hope this helped. And on a scale of zero to 10, did that feel different? Know that as always, you do need to tap on a regular basis for you to really see those big results. And if there's something in here that triggered you, amazing, I'm happy it did. You can lean into that a little bit more and see if you can uncover that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you have the most beautiful day.